Rios for the LatinKitchen.com, and this time of year, lots of families are entertaining. In my family for Thanksgiving, we always do a potluck Thanksgiving, so everybody brings a dish in that they make really well and that everybody loves. But how do you set up a buffet table so that everybody's food looks great, people know what's where, and they feel comfortable navigating it? Well, I've got some tips for you that are super simple. Here we go. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take whatever table you're using. I'm actually using a folding table and you can take it and put it away from the wall so then people can move all the way around your buffet without a lot of congestion and it's really easy to navigate. So I'm using a very neutral tablecloth. You know, you can use something, I prefer things that are easy to launder so that you can just throw it in the wash afterwards. But if you are worried about protecting your tablecloth and you wanna add some texture, you could always use a runner and that'll kind of help um, make it a little bit easy or to tidy up later. So I've got a runner that I'm gonna go get. Okay. Okay, so this is a nice rustic runner that I'm using. I'm just gonna put it right down the center of my table. I love using natural things this time of year because it's fall and there's so many dried leaves and acorns and pine cones. So this runner I think really adds to that whole textural look of autumn. The next thing I like to do is I like to set up my plates on one side and my silverware on the other so people can grab a plate, put food on their plates and then grab their silverware and head to where they're gonna sit. I like to actually roll my silverware into napkins. You could use a piece of raffia. Um, you could even put name tags on them if you wanted to. But it's a great kind of grab and go way so everybody knows exactly you know, where their silverware is. Next, I'm gonna put the biggest items out first. So I'm gonna put out my tray where my turkey or ham is gonna go. One of the things that I like to do is I like to dress the trays with seasonal fruits and vegetables to make them look really nice. I love to decorate the trays with seasonal fruits and vegetables because it just makes it so bright and cheery. And again, this is the kind of thing you can do the night before so that the next day you don't have to stress out about how you're gonna plate things. Okay, so next I'm gonna put out my arroz con gandules because in my family we always have rice and beans. So I'm gonna put that right over here. And now I'm going to put out some of my side dishes. I'm gonna put out some bread, which I've got here in a little basket in a napkin, which keeps it nice and warm, and also adds like another element because you can use a different contrasting napkin for that. And then I've got some cookies. I like to, when I'm setting up my buffet table, put the savory stuff on one side and the sweet stuff on the other so that as people move across the buffet, they can do it sort of in the order that they would eat. Here I've got some cheese and olives and honey. It's a good idea to have little nibbly things like this so that even before the main food comes out, people have something to snack on while they're waiting. And who could forget the gravy? We've got to put that out. Mmm, smelling good. Salt and pepper is always a nice thing to have on the table. Sometimes people can feel embarrassed to ask for it. You know, they, and cooks sometimes feel embarrassed when people ask them for it. So why not just put it out? Some people like their food saltier than others. Some people like more black pepper, so let them have it. And then to protect your tablecloth, you can use coasters or you can use small plates to put all your serveware on. Little spoon over here, fork over here. I'll do these for my cookies. And then it's always a nice idea to put candles on your table. I like to keep things low on a buffet table because you've got arms reaching across, so you want to make sure that nothing gets broken or no one gets burned. So I'll just put little votive candles like that. And you can add all sorts of seasonal things like squash and pumpkins. Well, they're called luminary pumpkins, these white ones, because they just are so cool looking. And of course, like on a piece of wood, it just looks so awesome. Maybe another little pumpkin over here and the pine cone, why not? The next thing you probably want to do is label your dishes. You know, lots of people have food allergies and it's nice for them to know what the ingredients are. Um, so I've got a sign here that says, assorted cookies and that they have nuts in them. So just in case you have guests that may have allergies like that. Now you're gonna notice that I don't have drinks on this table. One of the things that I suggest is to create a separate drink station um, so that you can have it separated in case people spill a bottle of wine. It's not gonna go all over your table. So set up a place somewhere else in the house on the kitchen counter where you can have you know, your red and white wine, um, any sort of, you know, if you have any cocktails, I like to pre-mix them and put them in a decanter so that you don't have to make cocktails for people. And it's a good thing to have a non-alcoholic option for people who don't drink, like sparkling cider, for instance. 
So in my family, there's always so much food left over after Thanksgiving, and everybody wants to take a doggy bag home that's not exactly for the doggy. So one good idea is to pick up some to-go containers from a party store or a local craft store. They're super easy to use, obviously. Everybody knows who's ever had Chinese food. And of course, you could decorate the to-go containers if you wanted to get fancy. Buffet style is the way to go when it comes to big holidays when you're serving a lot of people with different tastes because it allows you as the host or hostess to sit down and enjoy your guests instead of worrying about serving them all the time. So I hope you enjoy and I hope this helps you with your family celebrations. I'm Yvette Rios from thelatinkitchen.com. Buen provecho.